Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and in this video I'm going to show you how to import an XML file that was previously exported from either a different WordPress site or a different blogging software. And I'll show you how to import that and get that content into your current WordPress site. So here we are in the WordPress dashboard. Now the first thing you want to do is go to Tools and click on Import. And you will pick the appropriate software that you're using or that you use to export the file. In my case, I used WordPress to export it. So I'm going to click on WordPress. And then it will prompt us to install a plugin, which is the WordPress importer plugin. It doesn't come pre-installed with the WordPress core files because that would make the core files heavier, extra weight that's not needed because not everybody's going to use the importer. So they chose to have people install the importer when required. So all you have to do is click on the blue install now button on the bottom right. And then click on activate plugin and run importer. And now you can use the browse option to find the file. In my case, I already have it open in my WordPress or my, uh, my finder. And I can drag and drop the file right into this where it says no file selected. Just drop it right there. And then it puts the file name in there. And I can click the upload file and import button when I'm ready. And then on the next page, it shows some information from the file itself. And it says in the file, it says that the author's name was Bjorn. You can choose to create a new name for that author, or you can assign the content to an existing author. Like currently on the site, we have Bjorn and Flying Eagle are our two authors. So I'm going to attribute this post to Flying Eagle. He works hard. Got to attribute the post to him. And then if there are any downloads or images or attachments that are also referenced in the file, you click on this link or this radio button to download and import those attachments as well. In my case, there aren't any, so I'm just not going to click that. And then when I'm ready, which I am right now, I'm going to click on Submit. And then if your file is small, it goes really quick, like you saw right there. But if it's a big file with a lot of content and a lot of images to import, it's going to take a while. But when it's all done, it says or tells you, all done, have fun. Remember to update the passwords and roles of imported users. So now we're going to go see what this actually created. So that, that XML file only contained one page, and that page was called sample page import. Now if I go to the pages area and click on pages, there should be a new page. There's 150 pages here, so we're going to have to search for it. There should be a new page called sample page import. And there it is, attributed to Flying Eagle, which we did just now. And it's just a, a basic sample page that is created just as a demo on how to import stuff. We just learned how to import an XML file that we exported from a different WordPress site or a different blogging software. And we learned how to import that into your current site and make any changes that were necessary. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.